Hello my friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to be reviewing Dr. Squatch's Bay Room. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts and opinions and ultimately what I think of the soap. So with that being said, let's get into our video. So very similar to last week's Pine Tar, this week we're doing an updated review on Dr. Squatch's Bay Rum. Now I'll be perfectly honest with you, I've not used Dr. Squatch's Bay Rum since then. I haven't used it, smelled it, I haven't even tasted it since last time. And I think that's what makes this review very interesting because it's almost as if I'm using it for the first time again. So I'm really excited to share that with you. And you know how we do it. Let's start off by looking at the soap and the box and the presentation as we always do. Let's start off with the box first. I think at this point, many of you are very familiar with what the box looks like. Um, the only thing really to add here is that simply the updated version to me uh, seems a little more aesthetically pleasing. I do like the new design overall compared to the OG. All right, let's jump over to the soap and not a whole lot going on here. This is a very plain, very natural looking soap. This is really good, right? It has almost like a beige, very, very, very earthy, natural look. That's what we want to see in our soaps. So this is really good. No artificial colors here, anything suspicious like that. So that's a good sign for us. Uh, but other than that, it's a pr pretty plain Jane looking soap here, right? So not a whole lot to add here. It looks exactly like I remember it to look. So let's move on. All right, moving into the ingredients section of the video. Uh, let's go ahead and post the ingredients on the screen for us to go ahead and take a closer look at that. And we don't have a lot of ingredients. So that's a good thing, right? We have a little trifecta of oils, kale and clay, sea salt, um, and shea butter, obviously, all great things. Now, we uh, do have that natural fragrance. A uh, little bummed out, I'm a little disappointed here with the ingredients, because I feel like we have some, a uh, little bit of a missed opportunity, and also that pesky natural fragrance, uh, which, according to, to their website, they do use artificial fragrance in the Bay Rum, so this is probably a balance between natural and uh, artificial chemicals coming together, so it's probably not a true all natural soap. However, also I feel like the missed opportunity comes from there's no rum. You don't have any rum in the soap or any type of real spices, right? No clove, no cinnamon, or, or anything like that, right? Those are just examples, but you have nothing along those lines. And it's like, that's kind of a bummer, right? Um, it'd be really cool to see that, give a more authentic, genuine bay rum smell. Right, so which we're going to talk about in the next section, but so combination of that to everything else is fine, right? All the other ingredients I think are fantastic. I love how it's not too many. It's on the smaller side. That's always uh, less ingredients is typically better for skin, but kind of a uh, feel like a little bit of missed opportunity here. So let's go ahead and talk about how the bay room smells. Now, if the last section sort of gave you a hint of where I'm going with this, then here we go. First thing first, the Dr. Squatch's Bay Rum is gonna have this sweet, spicy, definitely a beach vibe type of soap. And that's definitely obviously the direction they're going for. That's the vision, right? Just like any typical Bay Rum. Now, consider the only thing we have to go off here is the natural fragrance. So it's sort of hard to pinpoint exactly what fragrances they're going for, but I have noticed beyond the sweet and spicy, there, are, there seems to be like a hint of cinnamon underneath everything. Now, I also noticed it's not as bad as the deodorants, but if you smell, if you focus in and smell it enough, underneath it, like there's almost this like candy-like sensation, almost like bubble gum, like it's just very sweet. Now, ultimately, I think Dr. Squatch's Bay Rum smell is fantastic. There's a reason why this is still one of their best sellers, our most popular soaps. I just know me personally, I really enjoy the different spices, like the cloves or cinnamons and, and actual rums, and you know, when that sink is uh, very complicated or complex, right? It's, it's enjoyable, it's really awesome. I love good Bay Rum soaps, or rum soap in general. It's fantastic, it's almost similar to like a beer soap. You know, they just, Fantastic. Yeah, there's something in particular about this Bay Rum. I can't necessarily put my finger on, but it feels like it's missing some or it just probably might be doing too much. I don't know, just when you try other Bay Rums and you'll see what I'm talking about, uh, there's something missing to it. But at the end of the day, I know most guys won't give a flying flip about that. And here's the deal, I think 99% of guys are actually going to really, really like this because I also know a lot of guys don't really try a bunch of Bay Rums. So there's also that too. So. Uh, from my personal stance versus reality, 
I think if you're looking for a nice bay room that smells really good, I think you're really gonna like bay room. That's simple. Just witnessed another great lather by Dr. Squatch. Our ingredients were almost perfect, right? We're missing a couple things here and there, in my opinion, and that pesky fragrance oil. Besides that, not bad. Uh, not a bad selection of ingredients there. I like how it's on the lower, uh, the lower number of things. I think overall the bay room smells nice. Um, Maybe some personal preferences here. I would like some things differently. That's just me. I don't know. 99% of guys are really gonna like it. So. Kind of one of those things, it's up to you. I would encourage you maybe to check out other Bay Rums, see what other companies do. Bay Rum is a really fun soap to check out. It smells wonderful, they're exotic, and they are beach soaps all day. So if you're looking for something for the summer or in hotter weather and you wanna go out and do those type of things, Bay Rums are awesome soaps. They were made for that, perfect soaps for that. And this one, smell, I think this one's no different. I think this one would absolutely suffice. Again, they come at seven dollars, five ounces. So for the so for the price, yeah, I think that's on par. I think you're going to be happy with the Bay Room. And then if you're looking maybe for like an all more all natural approach to your soaps, again, maybe veer towards a different company. Maybe check out some other options. If you're interested, I could give you a couple in the comments below. All right, guys, that concludes my review of Dr. Squatch's Bay Room. I overall think it's a solid soap. I think it's definitely worth your seven bucks. And I hope to see you next week where we're going to be doing another updated review. We're going to be looking at the Alpine Sage next week. So look forward to that. Until then, though, y'all stay safe. Be careful as always. And man, uh, stay natural. Mm -hmm.